Good evening. Happy hour at home on Wednesdays. Except tonight, we were at Rosie's Wine Bar off site. So we're focusing today on New Jersey wines. And uh, the owner of the uh, of the of Rosie's Wine Bar, Josh, has uh, kindly provided these two wines. The first bottle is coming from what they call the Alba Winery. And it's in the rolling hills of Warren County. And it's a vineyard that started as a as a dairy farm and uh, in the ninth, in the 1700s. And around the 1800s where they started the first cultivation and the grapes were then planted. So the rolling hills have about a five to 30% elevation. Uh, they have great sun and good temperatures for developing these wines. So this wine here is uh, Chardonnay and it's uh, the valley itself and the winery is an AVA rated winery, which uh, indicates the high quality of the of the wine itself and the grapes. So here we go. Now, with a white wine, don't know necessarily if we're going to be playing with the legs, but in any case, here we go. And I'm using the Rosie's Wine Bar wine opener. So here we go. We have to use this small one here. Okay, and then we put the big one there, and now it comes beautiful so far. It came out very nice. So we'll test the uh, we'll test the uh, the legs, but uh, quite frankly, we may not get any. But in any case, so this wine wine is uh, is stored in produced and stored in oak barrels, French oak barrels, for about 16 months. Then it's bottled, stored again for about uh, six months, and then it's uh, up for sale. So it's a very crisp, fresh looking wine. Uh, it's coming with fig, pear, and melon. And it's supposed to be toasty oak. It's very silky. And they produce every year probably something up to two of only 90 to 100 uh, uh, cases. So yeah, there's no there's no necessity to take a look at the legs. Here we go. Bada bing. Very, very good, crisp, fresh. Hint of oak. Very nice. Okay, so the next featured wine is a Jersey red wine. And this wine is coming from the William Heritage Winery. And in 1853, uh, they, they were basically a produce, uh, a produce farm. And only in 1998 did they start planting the vineyard, uh, the, wine, the, uh, the wine. And it was then offered for sale probably around the year 2002. So this uh, vintage, or the growing area heritage, is one of the largest ones in New Jersey. And it's made from the Concord and Barbera grapes. And it's supposed to have some fruity notes of raspberry, cranberry, and strawberry. And it's in the Bordeaux family. And it's a semi-sweet, semi-sweet one. So here we go with the pour. Yes, on the red wine, you do have to check the legs. Uh, and we have to see how, how that goes. Uh, the legs are thin on this one and conducive of the type, the quality of the wine. It does have the hint and smell of very berry flavors in there. And it's very, very nice. And we're enjoying this very much. So this coming from Gloucester County. It comes from Mullica, Mullica Hill section of Harrison Township. So here we go. Oh, that is quite a bit different than some of what we've had before. You do get quite a bit of raspberry in there. And it's a semi-sweet wine, but it has a very, very delicate finish. So, in any case, uh, 
Josh is coming now, so I'm going to pour him a glass of wine. And this is the semi-sweet wine. So, Josh, please join us. Thank you for your hospitality. Of course. And here is your here is your Jersey red wine. I guess I have a table. I guess I'm an official customer. You I can are. Take the mask off. You may. You may. And thank you very much. Absolutely. Very good and very great selection. Oh, nice. Okay. So, happy hour at home on Wednesday. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. And bye-bye now.